What's up, guys? Welcome to Chasing Blogics. I'm Jeff, and this is your SoCal Fishing Forecast for Thursday, April 11th. Quick look at our 10-day weather here. Uh, looks like we've got some sunshine, like we've been enjoying the past couple days here. But uh, we're going to get whacked with another, another little storm again this weekend. Uh, not quite the rainfall that we saw the last couple weeks, but we do have some rain and some wind moving in. So... Here we go into Thursday, light winds, and uh, this pretty much remains the pattern through Friday and most of Saturday as well. Varying wind, and you know mainly under 10 knots, so very favorable conditions out there for the midweek. Then uh, as we move into Saturday here, we start we start getting that wind from the south as this front approaches here and things start wrapping up 15 knots from the west and then uh as we move into sunday it's gonna be timing this thing right here is the it's gonna be the hard part here because as you can see you go 15 knots and then right close to 20 as we move into monday so really it's just going to be timing that window if you're gonna be able to make that that little wind wind uh pattern that's moving in here but do want to point out that this is the time of year as I tell you every year uh, springtime and uh, late fall very dynamic conditions here I've been looking at this <laughs> for the past several days here because I'm supposed to be on a boat Saturday night fishing Sunday out at St. Clean Island so uh, yeah we'll see what happens but I think it's still too early to call yay or nay on it yet it's uh Surround those coin flip conditions, but according to the marine forecast, this is what we got going on here. So again, no real concern up until Friday. We start getting, uh, you know, the wind starts blowing Friday night, Saturday, south wind 10, 10 knots, 15 gusts, wind waves two feet. But when we have that west swell, one to three feet, and a south swell at three feet. So it's gonna be kind of a washing machine going on here. And then uh, as we move through Saturday night into Sunday, again, uh, you know, 10 knots from the west, gust to 15, wind waves 2 feet, but mixed swell 4 to 7 at 12 seconds, and then the south swell at 15. So th these are longer period swells, but all is kind of on top. It's going to be a little messy out there. So probably not recommended for your private boaters. If you're on a smaller sport boat, there is a chance you're probably not leaving the dock. But again, Way too early to tell at this point. Uh, I like that 48 hour window for this time of year. 72 could be close, but uh, if you're trying to uh, put a window on it, pretty hard to do at this point. But um, after that storm moves through, things kind of chill out. So we'll get back onto that weather. So far, we've had pretty good water temps so far this year. Uh, a couple degrees ahead of schedule. Uh, I will say, we have not seen that June gloom that we were plagued with last year. And I think that these warmer water temps um, are really helping out on that versus having that cold water and warm air really driving that marine layer in. But so far, fingers crossed, looking like a good start to the year. Uh, so currently we are looking at our eight-day chart. The three-day looks similar, but obviously not as clear. Uh, with some of this stuff coming through and then the one day chart I, I think is way off I don't believe these water temps at all I don't think there's enough data there to really put an accurate blend on it so I'm going with a three day for now but uh, all in all looking pretty healthy and let's take a look at our chlorophyll chart as well so uh, here's our three day you can kind of see where we came here on the eight day just for a reference and things are starting to clean up here as uh, we move on to the week. So you see the flow of the blue water here. The current's trying to work its thing and uh, clean this stuff up as we go through here. And uh, as I predicted, uh, that orange stuff you saw here um, along the coast that looks like this was not uh, our, the beginning of a red tide. It was just dirty water from runoff, which is good news. We want to keep this uh, spring conditions going here. But... Uh, as far as fishing goes, not a whole lot to talk about. Uh, the Channel Islands got looked at today for sea bass, and there was no sign. 
the last report out here at Nick was more than a week ago and no signs of game fish there either. Just uh, the old rock fishing. And I have not heard anything from Santa Barbara Island. Um, it's probably it's worth a check if you got something to do. Um, no, no recent reports from Santa Barbara Island for sea bass either. Uh, Kelly, this is probably your best bet for white sea bass if that's what you're chasing. Um, however, you're going to run into a couple of things here. Uh, one, you're probably going to want live squid, uh, but no one's selling it, more than likely. Uh, you can always try uh, the radio out front of Avalon, but last I heard, uh, no one is selling squid. So uh, you're going to have to make your own or bring some frozen stuff and see if you can make that work. But that's really the story at Catalina right now. And uh, these conditions don't really help every time a storm comes through. It, you know, it's like shaking it, and, and that's a sketch. And uh, things got to get reset and resettle back in. So uh, probably not great conditions for that type of fishing right now anyway. So give it another week or so after the storm passes. Hopefully it doesn't land on another weekend again. And uh, we'll see what happens. Secondly, so did have a little sign of yellows. I know the Amigo was out here uh, last week. There was uh, some good signs of yellows on the front side. Not giants or anything, but, you know, 15-pound fish uh, on the front side of the island. So that's hopeful. Hopefully, uh, I think that's where I'm headed this weekend, if all goes well, is to go fish that. And uh, we'll give it a little first try for the season, if, uh, if the weather permits. As far as uh, bluefin, pretty much been MIA. There was uh, a rumor of uh, some guys seeing them out here by 14 Mile Lake on Saturday. Um, I happen to be in the area as well um, for a very short trip, just on a sea trail for uh, a new boat for a buddy, um, but did not see any signs of game fish. Um, one swell was up too, so couldn't really see great, but um, yeah, there was a little sign there for a minute, but you know how these things go early season. Whack-a-mole pop up here, pop up there hard to stay on top of them and that's typically why most people don't go chasing these things this early in the season it's just way too inconsistent you're gonna burn a lot of gas and waste a lot of time and you know then you gotta get them to cooperate after all that so you know how these bluefin are but uh some of the sport boats have been looking further south the independence was down as far as 200 miles last week they saw some fish um they didn't cooperate um so yeah let's darn bluefin doing what they do. So we'll see what happens. Um, I have not heard any reports from the Coronados regarding yellows yet. Um, still might have a chance in the northwest corner over here in the Hoya. And that typical stuff shows up if there's some squid around. So we'll see what happens. And I haven't heard any more updates about the red crab either. And that was there. So um, I saw the picture, but you know, we'll see how it affects fishing. But no, uh, no overwhelming amounts, which is good because then that stuff kind of just shuts it all down anyway. So, but that's it for this week, guys. We'll see you next week. Be safe out there on the water if you're able to make it out. And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, the season starts heating up a little bit more. Take care, guys. Cheers. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out our website and online store at chasingprojects.com. And make sure you share the. Stoke!